Because for over 100 years, not a single kilometer of railway had been laid in this country. When you took over, you said you would do it. And you were able to do it in under four years. And you build the railway all the way from Mombasa to Nairobi. And Madaraka Express is one of the most celebrated success stories in Africa. Many are saying that could be your legacy. Last weekend, I was watching a story on CNN. And this journalist had gone to the slums of Kambio in Nairobi and had gone to the family of Michael Onyango. A young boy who had grown up in poverty was now transiting from primary to secondary. And they were highlighting the success story of Kenya's uh, transition from primary to secondary. As we speak, we are almost at 100%. It is one of the most celebrated issues, Your, your, your Excellency, in Africa today. It was being celebrated on CNN. And it's not easy for CNN to be very kind uh, for a third world country like ours. Some are saying that could be a legacy, but Your Excellency, I believe your legacy lies in devolution. Your vision of the big four, when you look at them, they are largely devolved functions. So the big four agenda is really at the heart of the devolution agenda. They're inseparable. And your legacy will depend on the success of the big four and the success of devolution, your, your excellency. I believe this can be done with the support of all these governors who are here today. I believe so far we have achieved the highest level of the best intergovernmental relations in the last six years. I believe by focusing on the big four and realigning our budgets, our CIDPs to the big four and working together the way we have been doing, Your Excellency, together we will succeed. 